Hi guys, I'm here today to talk to you about diversity, equality and inclusion. Now, some protected characteristics cannot be seen, some disabilities are not visible, as we know. And some people may be thinking, um, do I or do I not have any of these protected characteristics? I'd like to talk about age. Um, age is a characteristic and I've experienced a lot of um, judgment um, because of my age. A lot of people think that I don't have any experience, that I might be a student um, because I look young or of my actual age. Now this is not true. Um, experience is not always based upon someone's age. It's based upon the experiences that they've had um, and the skills that they've got are not time spent. So I've been qualified for uh, nine years this year and um, I'm a student mentor, um, I'm a nurse prescriber and I'm now currently um, a nurse specialist in hepatology. So that is quite a lot in the nine years and I've obviously done the other things that go alongside that that we can't get when we register as a nurse um, or back then we couldn't so uh, phlebotomy, uh, venipuncture, that sort of thing. Although it's quite obvious that I'm quite young there are many characteristics out there that we can't see and I think often we judge um, on many of the characteristics. Um, a lot of employers um, I feel judge when they they meet you because that is a human factor. We are um, made to make our minds up on someone in the first few seconds that we meet them. Um, that is just how we're, we're made up. But as long as we're aware of that um, and we don't judge or make assumptions and we get to know someone, then, then that is okay. So some protected characteristics I obviously don't have and that is a good thing because in one way I can be an advocate for those who um, have these pr protected characteristics and I'm always looking out for anyone who's not being included, um, anybody who's not being treated fairly and equally. It's not about treating everybody as equals because we're not all the same. We all have different needs um, and different functions and different skills. So we all need to be treated as a person. Now, when we're applying for jobs or as an employer, I think a lot of um, employers look at their protected characteristics and the statistics of the diversity that they have between their staff in nursing and there is quite a high um, focus on having to have protected characteristics in the workplace with the statistics and, and meeting uh, the targets with those. So sometimes when you don't have any protected characteristics, this can go against you when um, employing, when going for uh, a new job role. Um, and it shouldn't be the case. We should not be employing anybody um, based on statistics, um, based on protected characteristics. We should be employing someone because they are suitable and uh, the best person for the job but unfortunately this does go on um, and if you do see this go on or any um, inequalities in the nursing workplace you must raise this and obviously this goes back to whistleblowing. Now I know a lot of you uh, may be concerned or worried about whistleblowing but in all of our workplaces, there are um, channels to whistleblow confidentially. confidentially. Um, but sometimes it is good to not be anonymous and then you can get feedback um, on, the, on the situation and you can see how it was dealt with. Rather than if you were anonymous, you may not get any feedback from that. But it's completely um, your choice. 
So diversity, inequalities and inclusion um, in, is in all of our workplaces in different ways, good and bad. Now, um, in our workplaces, we often celebrate um, different awareness days. So uh, we might have Black History Month or um, Disability Awareness Days or different um, awareness days that the workplaces celebrate. Now, I sometimes think that I don't know whether it's a good idea that we have these awareness days or not because I feel like perhaps it makes a gap um, because we should already be aware of these things but not to the point where we need to high highlight it as an issue. I think it's quite controversial, controversial and it's quite mixed but openly and honestly, I feel that sometimes awareness days, if they are um, done in the wrong way, then sometimes it does create a gap um, to say, you know, for example, Black History Month, um, this is how history was and this is how history is, um, how we are today in the present day. And it's great to see, you know, how things have changed and stuff, but I think it, it highlights and it targets a prote protected characteristic. And I just don't know sometimes if the awareness days are done in the best way. But have a think, when you see your next awareness day in the workplace, or it might not even be at work, it might be um, in the shopping centre or in your GP practice, have a look at their board um, and their table where they're doing the awareness. And if there's people there, ask the questions. But I found that it is quite controversial and I don't know whether sometimes it's often done in the right way. So guys, just to remind you that if you are um, suffering any diversity, inequality or inclusions in the workplace, you must... Um, escalate this because this is not okay so if you do have protected characteristics or even if you feel that you're being bullied or there's unfairness it doesn't have to follow a protected characteristic if you feel that you're being treated unfairly and you're being included and you feel that way then you have the right to escalate that to whoever you may feel comfortable with so you have your speak up guardians, uh, your manager, line managers, um, it could even be occupational health. Um, anyone um, in the workplace is trained um, to deal with these issues, especially the speak up guardian and your line manager. Now, I know sometimes it's the line manager that may be included in these um, inequalities. And you may want to look elsewhere for um, assistance or escalation. So you can talk to your other managers um, or anyone in the wellbeing services. But I do hope that we don't face inequalities as much as the media says that we do in nursing. Because nursing is a role where we're supposed to be passionate and kind and caring and nurturing and it really upsets me to think that in that profession staff are being unkind and treating people unfairly and things are happening and the only way to stop these things from happening if they are happening is to speak up and to talk to someone because otherwise things will never change if we don't ever speak up we won't be able to make a change. So guys, I hope you have found my video really helpful and informative and I hope that it's given you the courage to speak up if you need to or maybe it's just given you um, a second opinion on you know how you used to see things or how you felt before uh, but it'd be great to see that in your comments below. Thank you. Mm -hmm.